this group of uh, organisms, Nanarchia, they've been known to uh, occur in high temperature environments for more than a decade. And the only one that has been cultured so far interacts with another archaeon and, and it's strictly dependent. It's like a symbiosis between them. And we've been trying for some several years now to isolate and characterize novel such systems. And um, by studying them, we can understand some of the fundamental processes of how species interact and evolve in different environments, including in these very demanding high temperature uh, environments like at the bottom of the ocean in hydrothermal vents or um, hot springs in Yellowstone National Park. The system that we're studying, we're studying these extremophiles, these high temperature thermophiles um, that live in these Yellowstone hot springs. Um, and these organisms are unique because they're able to survive in these extremely acidic conditions, but also near uh, high temperatures as well. So these are near boiling temperature. Um, we grow these at 88, 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, so very hot, very hot conditions. In addition to being difficult to grow because they're hot, another problem is that these are anaerobic in, uh, organisms as well. And so with the anaerobic environment, you have to degas these bottles. You have to be very cautious of oxygen in entering the system. There have been several labs around the world that have tried over the years to culture these nanoarchaea and so far uh, they haven't been successful. It's, uh, they're, they're simply very demanding and we, we don't really know their requirements and what we've actually done is we, pr prior to culturing this, we obtained genomic information from these organisms using single cell genomics. So we kind of looked at the genes that they have and their host and based on that we inferred some of the metabolic properties of these and that's how we designed some cultivation, isolation and cultivation methods to actually enrich and ultimately isolate them.